What's up everyone, Andrew Boehner here, and on today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new for 2022 Schecter Rob Scallon Signature Model. This is the eight string version, as you can see there, because it has eight strings, hence being called an eight string, obviously. This guitar also comes in a seven string and a six string version, and in this video, I have this guitar tuned down to drop E, so it's standard tuning with the low F sharp dropped down to E, and I will be playing a song from my band, Carcosa, called Nihilus. This song is primarily in drop E, but there is a section where it pitch shifts down to drop D, and then it pitch shifts even lower to drop C sharp. So you're gonna hear how this thing sounds in low, low tunings in this video. If you're new to my channel, what I like to do here on my demo videos is show you what the guitar sounds like in a full demo mix, first and foremost, and then we're gonna come back, talk about the specs and features of this instrument, and then I'll show you some soloed tone clips so you can hear the guitar by itself. And then last but not least, of course, my thoughts and opinions on this guitar. Now, before we get onto the demo, I do have to say that this video is kind of sponsored by Schecter. They did send me over this guitar. They're not paying me to say anything, and all of these opinions are my own, however. With that being said, let's get onto the full mix demo. Again, this is a song called Nihilist by my band Carcosa, and it sounds like this.
Okay, so now that I've shown you how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix, we're gonna talk about the specs and features of this instrument. So first and foremost, like I mentioned, this of course is the eight string version. It does come in a six string and a seven string version as well. But of course for me, I wanted the eight string. Other than the amount of strings, the specs are the same across all three models. However, so if you're interested in the seven or the six, this should more or less apply as well. So first and foremost, let's talk about the materials used to make this guitar. As you can see on B cam, this guitar looks absolutely beautiful in this dark dark roast satin finish. It's very thin. You can still see the wood grain through the finish, which I really like. I think it looks really nice. Uh, the body wings, which are here and here, are swamp ash. And then the middle of the body is actually fully neck through. It goes all the way through. Super, super cool. Check out that axis heel right there. The neck joint is awesome. So yeah, we got swamp ash wings here and here, and then the neck is a three-piece mahogany neck with carbon fiber reinforcement. The hardware used on this guitar is hip shot for both the bridge and the tuning pegs. This is a multi-scale guitar. As you might have noticed, the frets look crooked, and that is because it is fan fret or multi-scale, same thing. And basically, this is 25 and a half inches on the top high E string and 27 inches on your low string. As for inlays, we have perloid inlays, which are actually kind of interesting because they are only on the 12th to 24th fret and only on the higher strings. I've actually never seen a guitar do this before, but it's interesting because there's no inlays at all up until the 12th fret, which is kind of cool. If you watch Rob Scallon's video where he talks about the specs of this, he said it's because he doesn't really need the inlays until he gets up here anyways, which I guess makes sense because most of the time you'd be looking at the side dots anyways, right? Moving on, the final features are of course the pickups and electronics. So these pickups are Schecter's pickups designed in collaboration with Rob Scallon. And these are called the Schecter Diamond 78s in both the bridge and the neck. As for controls, we have a three-way pickup selector over there and then we have a tone and volume and with the tone it is a push pull and that gives you a coil split on both pickups so coil split and then you still got that three-way switch so you have you know about six different articulations you can use okay so that pretty much does it for the specs and features of this instrument next up i'm going to show you how the guitar sounds by itself for the clean tone i will be cycling through the different pickup options because i usually find that that's where you can hear the most difference but for the other tones i'm going to be sticking to basically what i was doing in the recorded version of the demo that you just heard so this is how the guitar sounds by itself <laughs>
Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna talk about my thoughts and opinions on this guitar. Now, I've worked with Schechter for a couple of years now, and I'm very fortunate that I'm able to work with them directly. Big thank you to Adam, if you're watching this, for always hooking me up with really cool gear. So, I've had one other Schechter 8-string from them in the past, which was the Schechter Blood Moon. And on that guitar, I remember the two things that I didn't like was that it had a gloss neck, and that the pickups were a little muddy sounding, in my opinion, for an A-string guitar. And I'm happy to say that on this Rob Scallon model, both of those issues are not present at all. Well, they're not really issues, they were just my opinion, but you get what I mean. So with this model, I actually really, really like it. I love the fact that it's satin through and through. Satin necks just feel so much better, even if you're not a shredder, like I'm not a shredder at all. I still prefer the feel of a satin neck. It just feels better to me. It doesn't get sticky if you sweat or anything like that. I just always prefer it. And then these pickups, I'm not really sure to what extent Rob and Schechter collabed on these pickups, but for whatever reason, these sound way better than the pickups did on the other Schechter 8-string that I had in the past. So kudos to Schechter for improving their 8-string pickups because these sound awesome. What I also noticed with this guitar is that it is actually the lightest weight 8-string I have ever played in my life. And if you know my channel, you know I've had like almost 100 8-strings I feel like over the past 10 years. And this is by far the lightest one I've ever played, which is really, really cool. 8-strings do get a little bit heavy, a little bit neck heavy sometimes because they're, you know, more guitar. <laughs> but with this guitar in particular, it is one of the lightest guitars in my entire collection and definitely the lightest 8-string that I have. I'm pretty sure a big part of that is due to the Swamp Ash wings. Swamp Ash in general is a very lightweight wood and I always like how Swamp Ash looks anyways, so that's a win-win in my opinion. Another thing I wanted to mention that I realized about this guitar that I thought was actually really cool and a little bit different than pretty much every other A-string that I have is although I do have other multi-scale guitars that are the same scale lengths, you know, 25 and a half to 27, what Schechter did differently on this one was they placed the neutral fret in a different location than most other brands, which I didn't really think would matter, but honestly, it actually helps a lot and feels super comfortable. So to explain, basically a neutral fret is the straight fret on the guitar, or the perpendicular fret, if you will. So some brands like to put their neutral fret on like the 12th or something like that, and the issue with that is basically if that's your neutral point, the fan spreads from there. So when you get down to these low frets on the low strings, sometimes the angle can be pretty extreme to the point where it actually, in my opinion, becomes uncomfortable to play because it's too far to reach with your finger. So it adds more strain to your hand. Of course, this might be a little bit of personal preference because everyone's hands are different, of course. But anyways, with this one, they placed the neutral fret on the seventh fret and it actually made the angle way less extreme on the low frets, which I like because let's be honest, most of the time I'm using like the first five frets and the first four strings anyways. So having this area be comfortable is great for me. So normally I would also include some kind of feedback or constructive criticism here if I had it, but with this one in particular, I really don't have anything I would have changed. I, I like everything about it. It's got the locking tuners. Hipshot always makes great hardware. Like I said, the pickups are a big improvement over Schecter's eight string pickups on the past model that I had. The fan fret is great and a little bit unique. I don't know, man, like everything about this is really awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you are interested in picking up your own Schecter C8 Rob Scallon model, be sure to go check out the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Again, I wanna give a big thank you to Adam and the team over at Schecter for sending this guitar over to me. And also, of course, a big congratulations to Rob Scallon for launching this signature model. It's always really cool to see YouTubers launching a signature model in general, but especially with a brand as big as Schecter, it's just awesome and something that I think every YouTube guitarist aspires to. So thank you, Rob, for doing something inspirational. I also want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or a shout out on the screen, you can find all that over on my Patreon page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you next time.